I think I'll uh, play this game for a little bit longer before we transition to something else. Right, so... That's... Fuck. Hold on. Everything is ruined. Time out. Let me set my game audio to play back through my headset. <laughs> oh, shit. Better. <laughs> Anyway. I also have to... He sent me the same fucking system. Morty, you motherfucking cunt. No, I have a... I have a different Matrix run for you. Financial data, maybe that's, maybe that's in the data store to the north. <laughs> you fucking goddamn troll. <laughs> I can't even remember the, it is financial data. All right, mission accomplished. Hang up the banners. Was it actually this data store last time that I needed to go to as well? I don't even remember. It very well may have been. I didn't actually... Well, fuck it. I think it was management. But this is the one we need to go to, so this is the one we're going to. Morty tried. Morty tried. At any rate, um, I couldn't actually go back to escape uh, once I got engaged in combat with that uh, barrier tar pit. The only way I could leave was by jacking out. So it's not as if I could have gone back uh, once I initiated combat, and uh, if it even was the financial data one. All that effectively would have controlled is if it actually was the financial data one, I would actually just complete the damn run and been out the money for replacing my attack. Here, I'm out the money for replacing my attack, but... Well, I'm not this time, of course, because I didn't lose it. Because I didn't have to go through the tar pit. You motherfucker. Simple Matrix run tar pit in my ass. Fucking Morty. Mm. It's fine, it was only a level three attack program. That could have been worse, definitely. That hurts to lose, like, a, a level 6 one, a level 7 one. It's like, ah! <laughs> Tens of thousands of Nuyen just down the drain. That's when you load the game. Hmm. I need is behind the CPU this time, but I have a cutting scheme. <laughs> How is this program not failed yet? It'll fail. Give it some time. There we go. Just you and me now, Barrier.
Of course, it's going to be harder to hit this node. It's active alert. But, uh, it can't do anything else to me. I got time. So, any questions for me? I have some time, chat. Damn, how did the star fail? Damn it. Perfect track record ruin. How about that? Nope. You want to get a soda? Or like a beverage? Ah, uh, well... Uh, Inferno. There's no class of in a trash vault. <laughs> As you will know. Um, the last time I played Shadowrun, I ended up uh, using an awakened mage uh, who also filled the role of face for the party. Uh, if I were to play again, I would uh, probably pursue another charismatic type role. Uh, the test character that I ended up making uh, using the 5th edition rules was, of all things, an elf. Because even I want to kill myself some days, and what better way than by making an elf? How red is my face? Uh, not that much? <laughs> No, as if I'm undergoing heat stroke right now. <sighs> we will prevail. Now, it's only a matter of time of once I do get in there, whether I'll actually be able to cancel the alert before I'm booted out of the system. Ah, uh, Grabber! I don't have an answer for a question. <laughs> how can I support? How can you support what I do? Uh, engage in the conversation about video games. Fine with me. Uh, what do I think of 5th edition D&D? Don't have an opinion. Haven't really looked into it. Don't much care. I've had enough of D&D in my time. There are other uh, role-playing systems I am more interested in than what Dungeons and Dragons brings to the table. I have a fast forward key, but I wouldn't want to fast forward so fast that I I get into the node and then fucking catapult myself out of the node. So great. Just flashbacks to the youth. That question was literally just asked, and my answer was... Uh, that is not a question I will not uh, answer tonight. Probably enough for a few more hits. I can't see the stats specifically. I tried analyzing it, and the analyze got eaten. Not as if it was a high-level analyze anyway. No, I'm not much of a speed runner. Uh, that being said, I know the game well enough that I could complete it in one sitting. I don't know what the time would be. <laughs> Rock a bye stream, chat on the treetop. It's the active alert. That's really the problem. It increases the defense of this thing. Oh, the node level, rather. <laughs> Computer skill level 6, folks. Simple matrix run. Yes, I'm more of a shadow run. <laughs> How's my week been? Oh, it's been a bad week. Uh, I have been oscillating between anger and frustration uh, since Saturday evening. <laughs> Conveniently enough, during the last A Song of Ice and Fire session. <laughs> Might be why I don't want to talk about it. 
So, uh, this has been one of the few times this week I've been able to enjoy playing video games. So here we are. <laughs> Terrible, I've been stuck here attacking the snow for seven days. So there we were. At the other day of the story. Fucking finally. This was just really to prove a point to Morty. He gave me this system three runs in a row, and I just wanted to show to him, look you fucking cocksucker, it's done now. You have no more damn excuses or reasons to give me the system again. Hold on, I'll be right back, Dinosaur. I'm gonna go turn off the alarm. Look at Mortimer Reed. Massive troll this playthrough. Should be all five? That, no, it's four. Can't count right now, I guess. Okay, we're done. We're gonna erase a file here. And I'm going to the CPU. And I'm crashing it. <laughs> a small orbs coming out of... Like the... Perhaps graphical effects when you're on... I'm not entirely sure what that refers to, TT Cool Guy. Perhaps, like, the small orbs that are coming out of, like, the node map, like this. Like that. Like the slave modules. Also, by showing that off, I lost my ability to crash the computer. Not as if that would have done anything, anyway. The tracking thing, when I'm fighting the things. Oh, those uh, small little pings, like alarm packets. Uh, that's to, uh, basically, uh, whenever those reach the end of the screen, they have a chance of increasing the alarm level by one. Mortimer Reed, I don't even fucking know what to say to you right now. Other than give me a fucking shadow run that's a Matrix run, yeah? I mean, I already proved that I can get through that damn system, so I guess if you want to give it to me again, I'll demonstrate that I can do it again. Let's go buy another Analyze program, by the way. Unfortunately, I cannot attack the Mr. Johnson. Not that I wouldn't want to. <laughs> wonder if I could just pay Winston to shoot the son of a bitch. <laughs> I could just... Murder him in the fucking booth. <laughs> Can't be that well connected, right? How many clips do I have? Thirteen. Love this gun. You also notice that I haven't uh, been gaining much in the way of karma as opposed to doing Gunderson runs, but I am technically rolling with more money. Uh, the setbacks aside. Let's go buy another Analyze. Uh, I can buy a sleaze too. That should probably be eaten just fine. Neat. We have some fodder for uh, tar pits, should we ever run into those in the future. Uh, pfft. Let's see, I played the uh, the first one that they came out uh, with, uh, which of course, Dead Man Switch was just a giant fucking... Uh, like a demonstration, like a package of here's what, like, our mission editor thing can do. I didn't even finish it. I got close to finishing it. Like, I had Harlequin and all, fucking all these insect spirits, and I said, eh, I don't even care. Like, I'm like 93% done with it, I think. And, eh. Of course, I have heard uh, that the others, uh, Hong Kong and Dragonfall, are significantly better. I just haven't cared enough to try them. But uh, the first one that Hairbrain Schemes did just, it was, 
There was a lot of throwbacks. Jake Armitage, Harlequin, of course. It just wasn't too engaging for me. A dead man switch, uh, though. Uh, not the best. I just felt as if it was just like a, a like. No. No. go to Julius Strouser from now on. <laughs> I don't know. Because <laughs> apparently Morty doesn't want me. <laughs> I should have crashed the system. <laughs> no shit. Is it management again? Or is it financial? I didn't even sell my data. Okay, for one, it is management. Time out. <laughs> I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh fuck if Julie sent me to the system. Go to PV and J, he sends me to the system too. Like what the shit? Okay. Fifty six hundred new yen total. That I guess makes up for it. Okay, so if there is any more fucking interaction that you kids wanna have with me. Let's go. this shit. <laughs> like, if you have business with this system, couldn't you just give me all the shadow runs at once? Don't know a thing. I don't think I'm going to be doing it in April, uh, with the schedule that I have assembled. I'm not sure. Let's just set the sleeves on fire. This old man. Ah, uh, well, Luca Raven. You can, uh, engage in conversations about video games. Uh... You could stare at Plump Helmet Punk for me. Uh, his house burned down. My house didn't burn down, so... I am physically in a better situation. I haven't talked about it much, really, because I know Plump doesn't like the, uh, the spotlight focused on him. That's also why I have not, uh... That's also why I have not actually gone through with the idea of... I talked about this with Lethal, but ultimately I decided against it, of doing a separate uh, Stardew Valley, like, live stream, like, 24 hours of me just setting up barns and filling them with kegs, and having Clover Farm, and just fucking have kegs everywhere in honor of Plump. Uh, but for one, I know Plump doesn't enjoy that too much, and uh, two, kegs, you can't even make those until farming level 8, so it would take fucking forever.
On the bright side, we have a health bar we can see in the top right corner now. Uh, I don't have any uh, interest or investment in uh, System Shock 3. As for the one remake, uh, I have been asked to play System Shock 1 uh, for the rewarding rewarders thing. Uh, I have, like, access to, like, a... Like an updated version of System Shock 1 that I was going to use, but because it's taken me so long to fill the request, I guess I'll have to see how long it might take for that remake to come out. I might play that instead. But uh, I have been requested to play System Shock 1 on the channel. Uh, that's something I was uh, going to do in April until I remembered that the remake was coming out. I'll have to check an ETA on that and determine uh, whether it's best to try and wait for that or not. I do enjoy the game. Uh, it has a significantly different flavor to it uh, than System Shock 2. Uh, System Shock 1 is more of a um, adventure style game. It has like your bad endings where Shodan like trolls all over your face. It's more of a point and click fuck you. It has a um, more of a horror feel to it than uh, System Shock 2 does as well. Where System Shock 2 is far more action-oriented. Bardstale... <sighs> no, I've seen enough gameplay of it, though, to know that the game doesn't interest me. Come on, attack! Come on, stop failing! Well, uh, System Shock 1 isn't quite the point-and-click fuck you. It just has elements of that inherent in the game design. Uh, but the original System Shock, though, I say that only because it has uh, those bad ending elements. Uh, part of which I alluded to whenever I did my impossible roleplay of uh, System Shock 2. Uh, that uh, playthrough featured me, uh, the character that I had, being so thoroughly suspicious of the reconstruction devices. And that's because in the original System Shock, uh, some of those devices, if you weren't paying attention, you'd try to use, like, a med station, and it turns you into a fucking cyborg. Like, it's like, whoopsie doodle, I fucked up! Alright, Barrier Blaster. Let's go for it. Not off to a good start, kid. So yes, those little circle things that are scrolling along are alarm packets. Uh, whenever they hit the edge of the screen, they have a chance of raising the alert from no alert to passive and into active. Uh, once that hits, uh, if there's an ice behind uh, the barrier, it will trigger. Uh, as a result, I would be facing a blaster that would be upgraded two levels to a blaster four. And uh, the blaster is an ice that attacks your Silver Surfer persona, and uh, so it would start attacking you and dealing damage. Okay, so... We did this again. Favorite movie of all time. Depends on the day. <laughs> Not much of a movie person either. Uh, I do like uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure and Bogus Journey. I really enjoy The Breakfast Club. That's one of my favorite movies. I like The Breakfast Club. I like The Last Starfighter. Really enjoyed Goonies. Watched that extensively as a kid, along with Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure of Bogus Journey. I like The Warriors. Like, most favoritist movie ever, ever. I'm not that much of a movie person, and 
Pretty much depends on like what I want to watch or see. <laughs> the uh, triangle is a um, doesn't have much value. Uh, yeah, in regards to you visiting. Uh, however, if you are doing a corporation run, you will come in through one of those instead of going in through the uh, the normal rectangular slab, the uh, system access node. Uh, you'll go in through one of the uh, the IOPs. Uh, they typically have easier defenses, uh, but you really can't do anything there of value other than that. I'm gonna go ahead and erase a file. Let's go shut down the CPU for real. What's the last movie I see? Oh, right, the last movie I saw was Creed. And I, uh, that really hit the feels. Uh, I suppose I'll discuss Creed spoilers in the live broadcast. I guess we'll tackle those. Uh, because Sly Stallone's character. So if, if that offends you for a reason, it's been out for several months. Uh, Sly Stallone's character, uh, is hit with, uh cancer and uh, my father's terminal illness is because of that and seeing the interplay between uh michael b jordan and sylvester stallone uh hit on my hit on my feels and the whole uh the whole emphasis the drama of like trying to fight uh the cancer instead of just uh surrendering is uh something that uh hit particularly close to home is that i also really love the like the I forget the, like, the actual cinematography, like, term for this, like, the official terminology, but, like, the amazing, like, like, the single, not, like, single take, uh, cutscenes they did with the fighting, but they were so fluid, like, there was no, like, cutting or editing, it's, like, two, three, four minutes of just, like, the fluid fighting action, uh, which is so amazing whenever, like, they're so familiar with the choreography of it, uh, that they're able to do that without, like, editing work. Anyway, you know what, maybe we need to give Morty a break here. I'm going to do a non-Matrix run, and I'm going to come back, Morty. <laughs> Get fighting, Cutsy. <laughs> My uh, terminology is not the best at this particular point in time. Uh, I'm not remembering the actual, like... Like, what it's actually called. This is this was not the right place to visit. Wire Masters, you die. No, it's not an actual scene. Uh, it's not what I was describing. I'm almost tempted if I could stop playing this game just to look it up. But they typically do it in, like, action-y type things. Uh, you can find, like, YouTube videos of it, like, emphasizing, like, how, like, the amazing quality of, uh, like, a two, three minute, like, chase sequence or, like, a fight sequence without any editing work done. It's just all, like, a single fluid motion. Which, of course, like, editing stuff is done, too, for, like, music and sound effects, but instead of it just being, like, a clip show of, like, you know, 15, 20 second bits, like, focused together, uh, just, like, two, three, four minutes of fluid choreography. That's the most recent movie I've seen. Creed. Continuous shot. That could be it, Savage. No. No. 
Okay. Take the data story once on a top right corner. <laughs> okay, there's not even a lurk game, so you can actually get with a hit now. Or not. Management files. I think these are management files. Is this also another barrier? No, it's not. I'm gonna fucking fail on it anyway. Could you maybe not miss every attack under the moon and stars? We didn't have this many fucking problems the last time. Literally nothing has changed. Other than my growing intolerance. Ah, high fantasy or a high tech. <laughs> and the words of Aaron, Por que no los dos? <laughs> I prefer a uh, medieval setting to a futuristic one. Or in the case of Star Wars, long time ago, the like a prehistoric one, even though it's not really prehistoric, if they're keeping track of history, uh, like fucking 50,000 years of it. Nope, wrong data store. Well, I'll get most of what I need here anyway. This was the financial data. Son of a bitch. Are you the data store that I need? Yes, Inferno uh, has a uh, has a greater leaning towards uh, science fiction -y type settings. Uh, Rifts, of course, uh, being one of them. Uh, doesn't much care for the plight of the common peasant and their struggle to survive a raging wolf. <laughs> Alright, I'm crashing the CPU. Yeah. <laughs> fuck peasants, fuck. Oh god. Here we go. <laughs> you know, <laughs> Inferno. <laughs> I was talking with Piff after a uh, Thursday session. And, uh, he's developing a more hostile attitude towards our fine, scaly friends, too. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I 
As for me, well, in the particular case of Ardenfell, it doesn't help the case of dragons that, uh, apparently all the dragons in that campaign system were fucking mind-controlled into slumber, right? Like, the dragons there would seem a little bit more impressive and cool if they weren't, like, rendered into absolute bitches that we had to save when we were, oh, I don't know, still adventurer tier, right? Yeah, those dragons sucked. Then after we free them, of course, dragons have that immediate entitlement approach of, oh, there were dragons. Uh, I don't have any uh, connection or opinion to uh, Republic Commando. I haven't played any of those games, I don't think. Maybe one. All right, we got shit tons of money from that. Neat. And our reward will be sent <laughs> to... Well, I don't know. Our reward's gonna be being sent to this... Let's see. All right! Yeah, so either the Sega deck or the, uh, the Fuji Cyber 5. <laughs> I don't know, Inferno. That sounds like a very progressive attitude. Not allowed to have that. Dragons can't be progressive. They have to have the... Oh, look at you, Philistines. I mean... I suppose we can spare a few crumbs from the table. As with dragons, it's not like you can... It's not like you couldn't have fucking stolen from our hordes or anything while we were paralyzed in our... mind-control magic state. No, oh, hey! I deceived a CPU. How about that? Neat. Oh, they're not my dragons. <laughs> not my dragons. I claim no ownership about these dragons. <laughs> Hashtag not my dragons. But yes, uh, as for me, I, like, my attitude towards dragons isn't as bad as, say, my attitude towards elves. I've certainly encountered quite a number of dragon fanboys, too, in my day. And, uh, my tolerance varies. I know that I have, uh, I am biased in favor of the undead, for instance. Not vampires or zombies, but, uh, the greater umbrella of undead. Okay. Elves can be trained! <laughs> yes! Yes! Ah, oh, yes! Yes! Yes, Dark. Uh... We have a, a player in uh, the 13th Age campaign that I run, uh, Inferno, who uh, is very partial towards dragons. He uh, He's run like a campaign where there's been dragon player characters. He's designing like a campaign world that focuses on uh, most of the individuals being uh, dragons, which I think removes some of the special unique qualities of dragons, but uh, the fuck do I know? Uh, many of the player characters uh, he makes are connected to uh, dragons in some form or fashion. Oh, run accomplished. That'll work. <laughs> yes, Casey. Alright, who wants to fight? Fuck! Why did I turn around? I don't want to fight! I changed my mind! 
This is confirmation, I think. This answers the question I had earlier this broadcast. Which is more of a dick? The Hellhound or this? Question answered. No need for debate or discussion. Run! Okay. Slot off, frag face. Where's my compassion? It was left in the tar pit. Got your compassion right here. <laughs> no, I don't want your frag right eight. It's a trick. <laughs> yeah, I think that just confirms uh, what enemy I think is the most brutal <laughs> below the final boss of this game. <laughs> Hellhound and Vampire? I juke that shit. I fucking take one walk up there to the north, get vaporized by magic, and I'm like, nope, I'm good. <laughs> fucking run to the ATM, get a cab, and fly across Seattle. <laughs> oh, shit, that was great. And as much as I'd love to geek the mage, uh, I'm not really in a position to do that right now. I mean, like, a pack of hellhounds is also completely fucking brutal, but, you know, I have a better chance of dodging that than a hit scan attack, effectively. Might as well be hit scan. I have more money than what I thought I did. Which means it's time for me to lose it. <laughs> I don't know whether I uh, want to buy that new cyber deck now or not. I have not yet made up my mind. Space Marine character? Ugh. You know, the lore tries to hype up Space Marines for being these fucking awesome, insanely cool wizard fucking Jesus sauces. And then you get into the actual, like, game, and there you are sitting around, and as it turns out, there's a lot of shit that can kill a space marine. Did you, you apparently didn't watch my No Matrix run, Casey. Uh, you did not read all of the Hail Gator in the uh, live broadcast chat. That was a run where I didn't go into the Matrix at all, and God, was that a terrible idea. And I'm never doing that again. Well, that was tar paper, folks. It wasn't a tar pit, so I still have the Analyze. The problem, though, is that that thing is spinning so fucking insanely fast that I don't think I can do this run either. Even though I have an attack, I think this will take even longer. Look at how that's cycling. Look at it! Move the... <laughs> think I'm, uh... I think I'm going to write this run off here. <laughs> Let's celebrate. Uh. <laughs> 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 
frag grenade and uh, take the council island. That's not convenient. I <laughs> fucked up way of celebrating. It's because uh, someone in the uh, in the uh, the chat, of course, wanted to see me shoot and murder people, in a sense, and take their med kits and Nuyen, and uh, I don't see why not. All right, sure, we'll go to uh, the Arcology and pick up a friend. Mortimer, you're being an asshole again. Uh, that's because I'm pressing the different buttons, Casey. There's three attack modes with the attack program. There's uh, the A button, the B button, and the C button. A shoots force lightning, B shoots a star, and C shoots that little... Like... Needle? <laughs> Not really sure what you'd call that otherwise. Let's murder some people on Rinraku Turf. I'm sure that won't go... Bad. Right, three buttons. Oh yes, uh, Terry Balea, Hulk Hogan winning his uh, Gawker lawsuit. In part because he defined that there's a difference between Hulk Hogan the character and Terry Balea the man. You would have mind fuck. You can listen to the like the, the testimony and shit that he gave. Wow. <laughs> Blast processing. That's right. Fucking just made that shit up. Yeah. Blast processing. Whatever. Super Nintendo, of course, was a superior system in just about every way. So it just has its gems, too. Like Shadowrun. Uh, I certainly like this version of Shadowrun better than what the Super Nintendo's version has. All right, let's try this system. All right, we're off to an uneasy start. Okay, we can roll with this system. Why did I try to deceive this system? We've been here twice before. During this stream. Hmm. Please explain, I need to know more of things says. Ah, you can look it up yourself. What the hell are they? They're completely different games, Casey. Story. Game design. Game mechanics. Completely different. If I were a Decker program, what would I be? Hmm. Inferno? I, uh... There's not an Anger or Wrath program. Analyze is probably my thing. I would like to say that I am... I have the Rebound, uh, perhaps, which is a combat program that takes people's attacks and bounces it back at them so they keep hurting themselves. Because of my caustic, acidic nature. I hurt people of their own crippling failures and weaknesses. <laughs> Who can say? <laughs> Sleeves, uh, I thought about, but uh, that's more for a role-playing character than just someone played in one of my campaigns rather than me. Trusty Tony, used car salesman. Oh, yes, man. Uh, uh, 
Death Angel I probably is. Along with the microtransaction hullaboo surrounding the game. Trusty Tony is alive in our hearts. Black hat type character? I'm not entirely sure what you mean by that, but if Blood Mage is an example, I'd say probably not. Uh, everyone survived the end of the- well, <laughs> let me rephrase that, because <laughs> that's fundamentally untrue. <laughs> Popman and Trusty Tony were around in the final session of the campaign. But not everyone survived that campaign. Uh, I don't follow Shadowrun that much. Uh, I, uh, there's Deckers available in the 5th edition of Shadowrun. Deckers are back, although Technomancers, of course, still exist. Of course, uh, in addition to, like, that, there's also, like, the wireless connectivity. I don't know how I feel about Technomancers. I mean... I don't know. I haven't, like, been immersed enough in the Shadowrun lore to have a real opinion on them. Alright, I actually wanted to get a run first. I didn't get a run, did I? I guess, I guess this whole Mancer game that you kids are playing because of Inferno is better than the time game. God, I hate the time game. No one play it or I'm timing you out. Oh. Oh, goody. Another... That's what Shadowrun is lacking. Books full of content. That means you're halfway through thinking it. <coughs> I appreciate your honesty. <laughs> Didn't I say I was going to buy an upgraded cyber deck? Mancer, Mancer. Let's go do that now before I forget again. Do I want to increase my negotiation skill? <sighs> Or do I want to wait for the Sega instead of uh, just buying the Fuji? Well, then I'd have to use something that has the Sega label on it. Marvin laying down the, the hammer there on Zombie Ninja. The activity log doesn't even tell me what exactly he got knocked for. Holy shit. <laughs> so I don't even know what happened. And I'm sure Marvin was completely justified.
Hmm. I don't have enough money to buy any of that stuff, but yep, we got a new cyber deck. correctly. Alright, chat. I'm ending your Manzer game right now. No more Manzer game. No more. I'm ending your fun. No more fun. Fun is dead. <laughs> no more mazers. Yeah, Marvin, I noticed. You just timed him out for like zero seconds, just like delete a message. I noticed. How dare you use the tools and features that the hitbox moderation like rack affords you? It's cheating. Fucking god damn it, why did I press that button again? I'm like, I want to escape from this menu. Let me just press escape. I'm like I'm playing an actual computer game instead of using a console emulator. No. Inferno, the furthest west I have been is... Indiana. Which is not that far west in America land. What the fuck did the sleepy time hit, Grimmel? Damn. That just came suddenly. Maybe, like, the ice, the sugar I had from the ice cream's wearing off? Ugh. The hell? I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna be able to go to fucking 3 o'clock, let alone sunrise. <laughs> Old man Grimace. <laughs> that old man Grimace. Fine. You'll notice that the refresh rate is uh, a bit quicker since I bought a basically the equivalent of wired reflexes. Not that it's fucking mattering because we've gone to Miss City. Oh, I'm sorry. You didn't actually want to actually do anything. <laughs> oh, look at me. Jazz hands to the left, jazz hands to the right. Fuck getting a stationary target. I thought it said we didn't do anything important. Just gonna fucking go over here like this. And I'm gonna throw a star. And I mean, it's the guy hip. I thought it's the fucking do anything anyway. I'll throw another star. And holy shit, last second save. It creates a memorable ball because it created such a high tension herder. <sighs> fucking kill me. Just wrap my body in plastic. And drown me like a sack of dumb puppies. <laughs> that wasn't a fucking overreaction. <laughs> Yes, this is my last resort, Malagi.
Are we sure that I upgraded my cyber deck? Because I don't feel as if I got any better. <laughs> yeah, it is green. You are right. All right. Let's go turn the run in. <laughs> Sugar reflexes. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Dissolve in water reflexes. Alright, Morty. We're working well together. I like this. You give me completable runs and I go complete them. This is good. We have a great symbiosis here. I'm happy. We have 26 karma. We can do some stuff with that, I reckon. We can do more stuff though with 30 karma. So we'll wait for that. Thought about upgrading firearm skill. I thought about getting like a better suit of armor and then proceeding along the main quest line. Yeah, I mean, that's overrated, right? Alright, this is a good start. Better start. Main quest for noobs incomplete. Uh oh. Uh oh. Wasn't this the system with the tar paper that I couldn't do? Because the CPU was too high level after the act of alert. Look at how fast that's spinning, and there's not even an alert. Simple matrix run. Let's try. All right. All right. Everything was good until you failed. And once you failed, we're not hitting this motherfucker again. It's all over. I'm not. Star power failed. Completely failed again. We have no bad. I'm a little fucked. Let's just go. Let's just run. Just run. Yes, uh, Casey, I knew whenever I said that, there was a possibility that it would create a memorable moment like that. I don't remember Morty ever trolling me this much in a playthrough before. Yes, Drek does happen, you son of a fucking... Ah, why can't I target you? I can only target my stick. I'm gonna remember this time that I can't deceive the CPU. Which node do I have to go to? Financial data. Gorgeous.
Look at that. Hail lightning. That was gorgeous. Favorite civilization game? Uh, tentatively, four. Although... Amusingly enough... Uh, I have no interest in playing four ever again. And have more recently played five than four. Because of how thoroughly I exhausted I am with the old uh, civilization combat engines. Entertainingly enough, despite the fact that I don't think uh, how the combat mechanics in Civ V are particularly well balanced or designed, and it's a huge flaw for the AI to continue to work around, I enjoy it more than uh, the older Civs, uh, because it doesn't feel as if everything rides on one, I swear to fucking god, it's rigged roll. I should not be afraid of consistently losing with better than 90% odds. And yet, Civilization IV goes... Why not? Yes, the older Civ games, of course, have the stories of the, uh, the phalanxes and spearmen just defeating tanks and armor, just giving them the middle fingers. Uh, in Civ IV, I have demonstrated uh, on a number of occasions, uh... I think the baddest beat I demonstrated was a 99.6% chance of victory in losing, but I've certainly had worse uh, while playing Civ IV. I think in that particular case it was uh, maybe during the Noble Education series, and I had an Egyptian war chariot, and I was attacking a warrior. And he may have been over a river, or maybe in a forest, I can't remember the exact situation, other than... I think that was the spot. But yeah, I've, uh... I've, uh, lost, uh, odds. Uh, that, uh... That effectively lost me the game. Uh, I've lost, uh, 98... 99.8% battles. Uh, I've not lost a 99.9% .9 one. Uh, but I've lost a 99.8% one. And at that point, there's... Like, like, there's no flaw in my tactics when it's like I put myself in that best possible situation and it comes down to me having a 98, 99.8% chance of not losing the game and the 0.2% procs and I ultimately lose the game as a result. It's like, well, I, I fucking tried. I did my part. <laughs> Uh, Sid Meier's Alpha Centauri is, uh, is beloved of me. I still have the tech tree hanging up above, uh, my, uh, computer. Uh, but I don't really consider that to be a civilization game. I mean, at that point, I might as well consider Call to Power to be civilization games. And I have the Call to Power 2 tech tree hanging up in my room. I uh, put quite a bit of time into that one as well, Marvin. Uh, Stellaris? No. Although, uh, Paradox has certainly sent me email about it. Uh, Hearts of Iron 4? Uh, I uh, have a big no on that as well. I am... I am still salty from my experiences with Paradox as a kid. Uh, and having a Hearts of Iron games that I don't... My instruction manual somewhere around here. It might have been for the first one, it might have been for the second one. A manual that has, like, no table of contents, and that, of course, was written by non-native English speakers, but I'm like, I could do better proofreading, and I'm, like, fucking, like, 13, 14 at the time. Like, instruction manuals were a big deal for me uh, as a kid. Uh, and uh, the horror... The presentation was absolutely horrid. Uh, and while the presentation for uh, Hearts of Iron 4 may be better online with, like, Crusader Kings 2 and Europa Universalis 4, of course, using their new and improved engine, I uh, still do harbor a grudge against Paradox. Uh, Marvin, basically just, like, 
press kit shit. Like, oh, hey, here's Dolores. Uh, I keep you updated, like, Hearts of Iron 4 and stuff. Not, you know, like, to try it out. Just like, hey, here's, like, some press kit stuff. Yes, Casey. I, I know. <laughs> Don't really need extra memory for this. Could buy that and that. Ninety new, you know, boy. Oh boy. I think I'll do one more Matrix run. One more Matrix run. Uh, go spend my karma and uh, take a break from Shadow Run and transition to a different. What? What's the combat? Oh fuck! Why did I stop? Because I wanted to demonstrate them hurting themselves. <laughs> Monster in fighting. Monster in fighting. Why's there red fighting? Look at them fighting. Oh, that was great. Those were I-5ers, everyone. Or they could have just been, like, corp guys. Uh, I'm walking away. I... no. This is a heartless playthrough. Keep in mind that my character is not really configured to do much in the way of combat, just... Hmm. Just has the best gun in the game. And a suitable set of armor. Like it, this is the meal ticket. Where are we going? That's not where we check where we're going. Same system. Eight. Ah, oh, wired reflexes for the cyber deck. Good for the body, good for the soul. Oh. Uh, no, I don't think I'll do any special conducts for Knights of the Old Republic 2. There's been some times that I've played the game. I'll just do it straight up. I don't think I've played that since 2009, 10? Can't remember the exact year. It's been a few years, though. That game is also one I have uh, some salt for. Uh, but I can save that for <clears throat> that playthrough. Yes. Uh, plenty of uh, recorded playthroughs of Knights of the Old Republic 2. I think Variax is doing his blind playthrough of it around this time. I'll probably wait some months before I uh, tackle that one. That's not a scheduled game that I'm going to tackle in April. Also, what the shit system? Um, I am not the correct person to ask for modifications. <laughs> There's an interface thing that I use that I can't remember the exact name for. Uh, just an interface thing, that's it. System. Is that five files or is that four? It's four. Neat, we got five now. Let's go. <sighs> no. Didn't mean to do that. I was turning around to shoot that guy. It was destined. He was meant to live. I'll let you go. <laughs> Not you, though. Such is the way of the universe. 
As I get mauled by hellhounds. 3,000 million, I'll take it. I will say, though, since uh, the topic has been raised, one of the things I don't care about in Night Field Republic 2 is uh, the system that uh, has you either be... Uh, it encourages you to be absolute good or absolute evil to get uh, the extra bonus from that. There, There is no... You can't have morality, like... Mechanically, you are punished for... Uh, having different shades of morality. Also, I'm being attacked by weenies. do main quest stuff. Probably gonna want some more body and firearms. I am a solo character. If I do solely Matrix stuff, uh, then I just want computer skill. Maybe I can have this be a conundrum to resolve the next time I play this game. I guess I can leave it there. Maybe I'll come up with an idea. Assuming, you know, I might not ever return to Shadowrun. Uh, this wasn't a guarantee of me, like, completing a solo run. So much so is that I wanted to relax while playing something, and Shadowrun seemed... Oh. Fireful. <sighs> wow! Here I was thinking, I can go until sunrise, and... I have... I have... Mentally crashed. <laughs> oh, yes, and uh, Kreia fucking sass mouthing the entire time. No matter what you do, it's never good enough for an old person, because of course it's not good enough for an old person, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, let me go ahead. Uh, da, da, oh, oh, what? Are you people talking? Whatever. Uh, anyway, um, go ahead and stop this local recording.